Okay, welcome back to our study of evil. And I'm sorry that the background is a little dark. We're going through a thunderstorm right now. And our dark clouds. So in our study of evil, we've been studying about the heart. And we've had an interesting study about our heart. When it comes to evilness. And we're going to finish up on the evil heart today. We've got four more things to do on the evil heart. And we'll pick up on a new subject. <clears throat> I'm going to say this over and over with this study of evil. You cannot pick up one specific study on this evil and say, I've got it. You've got to get them all. You gotta listen to them all, hear them all, watch them all. Not for me, but to learn. Because this study of evil is it because evil can be sin and it can be judgment. Evil may not be sin and be a judgment. Evil not is not always judgment upon the sinner. That's where people get in trouble. Oh, God's a loving God. Why did he? That's why we're studying evil. Zechariah 8, 17. Zechariah 8, 17. And the Bible says, And let none of you imagine evil in your heart against his neighbor. Now, we did last time in Zechariah 7, 10, when we're not supposed to think of evil to our brother or sister. Now we're not supposed to do evil to anybody. Now neighbor. Zechariah is written to Jews. And neighbor is my neighbor over there, my neighbor over here, my neighbor over there, my neighbor over there. And that's the scope. But it's not. And neighbor could be a general sense, especially for the Christian. How about your neighbor to the people that sit close to you in church? I got people sitting in front of me, I got people sitting beside me, to the right of me, to the left of me. They're my neighbors. How about wherever I go? We went to the doctor's office. There was a patient over here. There was a patient here. There was a patient there. And the doctor was over there. And the nurse was over there. And the receptionist was over there. They're my neighbors. I, I, li I live in Daytona Beach, Florida. I have Atlantic Ocean. I have Holly Hill. I got the land. And I got South Daytona Beach. Those are my neighbors. Neighbors New Smyrna, Palm Coast. How about how about Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, maybe Louisiana? They're neighbors of Florida. How about Mexico and Canada? They're neighbors of America. See, now we got the broad scope of neighbors, not just the guy over your fence. How about we just don't think of evil to anybody? Jews for the Jews and the Jews for the Gentiles. There may have been Gentiles that lived in the neighborhood or in Judah, in Israel, which probably there was. And Christian versus Christian. Now we read already in Zechariah 7.10, we're not to do evil with brothers and sisters. All right, I've got brothers and sisters in China, Indonesia, Africa, Europe. I've got, friends, I've got brothers and sisters all over. But, oh, let me just limit it to my neighborhood. And then you missed the whole point. 
How about, oh, wait a minute, let's take it even further. You got the Jews and the Gentiles, I said. What about the Christian and the unsaved? The Christian and the worldly Christian. Now see, we got this big, vast vote, and we're not to speak evil in our hearts. We're not supposed to downplay revenge. I'm going to get even. I'm going to do the golden rule. Dog eat dog. What you do to me, I'll, I'll do to you with, with some more. That's not to be Christian. That's not Christ-like. That was not Jewish life. Matthew 15, 19. Again, notice that you're in 15, 19. It's that thought in our heart. The Bible thinking is heart, not the head. And we're not to be doing evil thought. Jesus speaking, for out of the heart proceeded evil thought. Murderers, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, blasphemy. We're looking at those evil thoughts going back to Zechariah 8.17. That doesn't come out of your head. It's our heart. And remember Jeremiah 17.9, our heart is deceitful and wicked above all things. Who can know it? If you got trouble with your thoughts and you got a trouble with thinking... Going to a psychiatrist is not going to help you. Going to a cardiologist is not going to help your heart. You've got to come to Calvary, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. If we confess our sins, He's faithful enough to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteous, unrighteousness. And to realize that evil thoughts are a sin, they don't have to be actions. Oh, I've never committed adultery. Well, Jesus said, Whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her in his heart has already committed adultery with her. Joab's brother was accused of murdering a man, but he didn't murder anybody, but he was thinking it. Do you no, it's art. It's hard. The evil that's in our heart. There are 11 topics of evil, Jesus and it said, and it comes out of the heart. Mark 7, 21 to 23. <coughs> Excuse me. From within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murder, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. All right? So what's going on in Portland, Oregon? What's going on in, in, in Chicago? And again, the, the Matthew 15, 19, the source of evil imagination is not the head, it's the heart. When you seek a doctor for for care and medication and a relief for the head trouble, one is seeking, that is not the root cause. A heart doctor cannot help, he cannot prescribe, he cannot diagnose, he cannot aid, he cannot comfort an evil heart, but the new birth, the Bible, prayer, God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the Bible centered preaching proper pastor and teacher, and an attitude that I am guilty, I am a sinner, we have an evil heart to deal with, and a doctor's not going to take care of you. The Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world is going to take care of you. And only by Jesus Christ. So I said, what, what's going on in the world? What's going on with trouble with Portland? What, what, what's the uprising? Where did that come from? Does it come from the public school system? Kinda. Does it come from parent raising? Kinda. Where does it come from? Because they lived in a ghetto? No. Because they were poor? No. 
Well, where would it come from the teachers and from the parents? When you run it all the way back to Adam and Eve, when, when they done what God told them not to do, and we became sinners through the nature of Adam, he that's born of a woman is but a full day of a uh, full... He <clears throat> that's born of a woman is but a few days and full of troubles. Why is there all crime? Why is it getting worse and worse? Because of our evil heart. And people are running to booze, they're running to drugs, they're running to other men, they're running to religion, and that can't take care of their evil heart. Why did that man step out on his wife? Why did that woman leave her children? Why is there abortion? Why is there an evil wicked heart out of the mouth of Jesus Christ. It's our heart. Hebrews 3.12 Hebrews 3.12 Take heed, brethren. Talking to Jewish people. Least there be in least there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Departing from the living God. What is the source of atheism? The heart. What is the source of a man rejecting the free salvation of Jesus Christ? The heart. Unbelief, saved or lost, is a heart issue. Why did he backslide? He let his heart. Listen, when they say, let your heart guide you, lead by your heart, that's an absolutely foolish, sinful statement because Jeremiah says, the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? Don't let your heart guide you. That true love with the heart, he may be just trying to get something from you. True love is not loving, kissing, hugging, and holding hands and getting married. True love is, is from the heart when through all kinds of troubles and problems, you're still loving each other. A divorce proceeding. Where does divorce come from? The evil heart. She missed no. Well, he, no. The evil heart. Somebody allowed their heart to go wicked. Their heart is already wicked. And they followed suit with the nature of the heart to be a sinner. As a Christian, you got to tell that heart no. Stop thinking about that. Stop doing that. Stop talking about that. Stop conducting yourself to what your heart wants to do against God. Through unbelief, even God cannot do any wonders with unbelievers. There's a place, I forget where it's in, in the Bible, I believe it's the Old Testament. It says they restricted the Holy One. God wanted to do more. There, there's a place with Jesus. I believe he was in his home, his home, his own hometown. And the Bible says to the point he could do only a few miracles there because of unbelief. When a man outright rejects the salvation free gift of Jesus Christ, God can't bless him into heaven. He's going to cast him into hell if he dies rejecting Jesus Christ. Hebrews writes to the brethren saved Jews. And we can, fall, we can also say the saved man would fall into unbelief. Brethren. An evil heart unbelief. You can just say to God for whatever circumstances. 
Whatever it could be. That's it. I'm giving up. I'm done. Listen, I've thought about that over the years. I've been saved since 1987. I've been I've been a wit I, I'm a widower twice. I've raised two children. I've got medical conditions. I've been stabbed by Christians. I've been sat, stabbed by by unsaved. I've just battling out in churches and pastors and problems and troubles and tribulation and all kinds of things. And my evil heart said. Just give up. And Satan comes in and fuels that, that evil heart. They just give up. There have been times where I've read and studied my Bible. I read something and say, really? I mean, do you really believe that? I cannot let my heart go any further. I must at that point say, heart, shut up. By faith, I do believe it. And how do you know it's so? You know how many sermons or pulpit teachings I have heard from men that Jonah did not die. Jonah did not go to hell when he did. Unbelief. Unbelief that Jesus said at three days and three nights as Jonah was in the heart of the heart of the whale and the heart of the earth. So shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Jesus died and went to hell. That's where Jonah went. Well, we don't believe Jonah died. We don't want we don't believe Jonah went to hell. Unbelief, and that comes from your heart. We don't believe the King James Bible is the final authority, you know, the absolute truth of the word of God. Unbelief of your heart. Well, I, I believe I can lose it. Unbelief of the heart. I'm not gonna love you no longer. Unbelief of the heart. I read the other day, so a woman, a couple married, and he wanted to have children. He kept pestering to have children. She developed a cancer, and the doctor gave her the news. Whether the cancer or the treatment, she will never be able to have children again. The husband walked out on him, divorced her. Why? A heart and unbelief. Why do they go back into the world? A heart of unbelief. Why don't they go to church any longer? Heart of unbelief. At that point, there is little or no hope until he gets repenting and gets right and gets back to believing. There is a written danger of unbelief for a man, and a saved man can have unbelief. Psalms 14, 1, 53, 1, Matthew 13, 58, Mark 9, 24, Romans 11, 20, and Hebrews 3, 19. Sin happens because of the heart. Because of the inside of who you really are. That heart and character. Listen, anybody can put a suit on. Anybody can go down to, down here in Florida. Anybody can go down to Florida into a, th a thrift shop and buy a suit cheap off the rack. What's inside that suit is the character, and what's inside that suit is the heart. You can put a you can put a suit on, tie. And, and you still can deceive. Because deceiving is in your heart. You can be the model Christian attendee. And you still can commit adultery and fornication against your spouse. You can be out witnessing and, and doing what you're supposed to be doing and not be a proper father. The evil here is unbelief, saved or lost, and that's a serious issue. That's a serious issue. And we conclude 
we conclude 14 aspects of the evil heart. Go back and get this whole entire study. 